All right, so I want to go over a couple of things that you use to make, you know, your, your spray paint art. The first main thing we need that, that you should have is a mask. You want a mask. It does not have to be a mask like this. I mean, if you're going to do it a lot and often, yes, definitely get a mask like this. This is, this is a good mask. It's like $20 at your hardware store. But 3M, good brand. Um, the reason you want them, and you can get just a little paper one that sits over, that just sits over your face, and that works as well. Um, if you're not doing it that often, the reason being is, I don't know if you can see that. See, that's how white it's supposed to be. That's what it is. So even in a ventilated area, even with a fan on, or just outside in the middle of the yard or somewhere, it's you, you're still gonna get this darkness to it. That is the particles from the paint and you know without a mask you're breathing that in you don't want part of those particles in your lungs you can imagine that might cause some cancer or something it, it, you don't want that so just get a mask wear the mask it is a great investment and useful for other things you might if you do any sanding or something you know you got the mask already so definitely get a mask the next thing that you're going to want and you definitely want is your paper obviously all right it's poster board see it's not that thick it doesn't you, know, you can get it as thick as you want to get it but you want to make sure that it has a shiny side a glossy side you know one side's matted one side's shinier I don't know if that doesn't really show up on the video that well in the light yeah, you can see the you can see the difference there between the two see how one's shinier than and so we can catch it right there maybe see so yeah, how that's more matted that's shiny that's what you want you want a gloss sided paper some come in gloss on both sides which is great but now where to find those Walmart sells them in the US outside of the US I don't I, I couldn't tell you where you're gonna find it maybe definitely try your big box stores if you, you have any around there uh, your dollar stores that you know everything's a dollar maybe they sell that there I know here Dollar Tree sells these um, big sheets, cut them down to what size you want. Walmart sells them big sheets. Uh, I know you can get them at your craft stores like Michaels or things like that. You, you, yeah, I think they're going to be more expensive at your craft stores than a big box store, obviously a dollar store. But you definitely want that. Another thing you might want is your tape. You don't have to have the tape. It's pretty good if you, uh, you want to when you go to spray paint and you're moving the paint around on it your board your paper can move so this stuff is great for making a border if you want to put a little bit right along the edge right along the edges and make that little border if you want or tear you off a little piece and give it that little fold to where it's like that so that way it's sticky on both sides Put it underneath the board and preferably in the corners in the corner and that'll keep it from going now how do you get it back off the board without tearing it some people might find that it, it tears is don't pull it straight off roll it off roll it off even after it's been on there for a while stuck down real good you painted on it i don't know what roll it off roll it off okay that's how you get it off without ruining it you definitely don't want to rip the you're painting, you work so hard on it, next thing you know, you rip a big hole in it or something. You know, it's enough to make you go nuts, make you throw a fit. Another thing you want is planet stencils, just round stencils. Right? Yeah, this one's all jacked up, don't worry about that. <laughs> um, so, the key to, to the stencil, oh, first off, you know, different sizes. If you want, there's a bigger one, you know. Different sizes are always good. You can always use the lids from the spray paints for little ones those work um lids for your containers those are really good you know there's a yogurt container <laughs> all right we'll wait for the sirens to go by there always something in the video right all right it's exciting all right the key that you want with these with, with a stencil a round stencil or anything like that is a thinnest edge you can get 
thin edge. If it's wide, what I mean by that is like this container here, you see how it has that wide lip, it's just it's wide. That's surface that's going to sit down on top of your paint and that is just, <laughs> unless you let the paint dry completely before you do that, you're going to ruin the painting, I promise you. And it, now it's raining. It's always something. So you want a thin edge. Thinner, better. That's why you got like these lids. That edge is real thin. That's going to work out great. And another thing, paint builds up on it, as you can see. Look at all that paint. It builds up. So you want to keep this clean so that way it stays flush and some of it don't break off on your paint, but it stays flush when it's down. Because as you paint on it, as you start painting on it, you know, it's going to drip down. It's going to get underneath it because this isn't sitting flush enough with it. All right. Um, hope you understand what I'm saying there. But that's why the sharp edges are always the best. And you definitely want uh, multiple sizes, you know, because you never know which one you might want to go with at the moment. So go ahead and have them ready. Just save some lids or something like that. Um, another thing you want to look into is your paints. Now, if you're just starting, cheap paint, cheap paint, like these here. And these here are from a big box store. I won't say who. You can pretty much guess who. All right. All right. It's it's Walmart. Um, but great paint. Great. I mean, good enough for for uh, just starting out. Um, and if you're just starting, just grab you a white. Grab you a black. If you really feel you need another color, grab a red or a blue. Um, I would go with blue. If you're starting out and you're making planets, blue. Uh, just looks great in the back of space. Um, these run like a dollar and a half or something like that. Um, other brands use Rust-Oleum, good brand. Uh, I use the 2X type ones or uh, along the same thing. It doesn't say enamel. There are ones that say full gloss, enamel, enamel. Enamels take longer to dry to me. They're great paint. They they look nicer. They're, they they set up shinier. They're really nice, and if you want to use them, you can. Um, but they just take a lot longer to to dry than these paints, in my opinion. Um, could just be the weather where I'm at. You're welcome to give those a try. Um, and Krylon. Now, I think people like Krylon more than Rust-Oleum. I just don't like these caps. These caps are horrible, and uh, mostly because these caps here spray at like a a wide wider angle. And then you can turn it and it sprays the other way. I don't, I, I don't like it. Um, another thing to keep in mind is you can mix like the store brand paint, um, at least the Walmart one, with Rust-Oleum. You can mix the Walmart one with these. And, the, and by mixing, I mean you paint. You're going to paint down like you're painting this down. And you got the black here. And then you use like a green of the Krylon. You put it down. And it's going to adhere together well. Same thing if you did... The cheap paint down and you put that down or vice versa whichever it'll, it'll it'll work out pretty well but this doing like these big name brands together down i found and again it could just be you know the climate that i'm at or whatnot you know probably what it is um i've seen people use these in other videos and mix them and not have a problem but for me mixing them together it tends to bubble or crack or it just doesn't mix on top of each other well it causes issues uh, to, to me. Another type of thing you're going to want is, don't mind the red, it got some paint on it, is clear, you know, clear, clear gloss. And, and always your paints definitely want to be full gloss or at, at least semi-gloss. You don't really want to go with satin though if you just, for, for shiny, if you want it to be really shiny and gloss. But if you're using you, you can use what, whatever you want to use, and before we get to that, to tell in the thing in case it doesn't say gloss on it, like the Walmart ones here, they don't really tell you gloss. The cap will have a smooth texture for gloss, and it will have a, uh, it won't have that shine to it if it's satin or otherwise. So you 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 want gloss, and mostly at least for black and white, I like to definitely have gloss. I do use satin colors, and that's because. Later on, I just go over it with clear gloss, and it gives it a nice shine. Um, another reason you want this is your paintings will dry, and you may want to like 
as you're spraying it it's going to dry like the walmart ones dry really fast compared to these other ones and if, if it's dried on you and you wanting to go back and and work with it um scrape it or do what you want for highlights if you do that scraping highlight which we'll get to in a minute you, clear helps to re-wet it so that way you can work with the paint so clear is something you might want as well now definitely you want to want some gloves you don't have to use the gloves um i think it's just a mess it doesn't come off the fingers all that well um so i would definitely use gloves plus uh, you know i don't know the chemicals and spray paint or whatnot on your skin um sometimes i don't use gloves at all. it just depends but gloves are a good idea you know any type of glove any glove you can get your hand in that you want to work with i would kind of avoid those plastic type gloves that the food handling gloves and go with something more stretchy and rubber that just feels like you're not wearing the glove at all said no guy ever <laughs> All right, other things is tools, little tool things. Now this here, I just made that piece of steel and rolled it over, but you'll want something pretty firm, with a angled edge, somewhere between like 30 and 45, 35, 45 degree edge. And what we do with those is after, like you got a tree or you got some rocks, you can scrape it, scrape it to kind of re-show the layers of paint underneath that have dried for that, that kind of, depth look now you can use a popsicle stick and just cut it at like a 45 degree 40 45 degree angle somewhere around there what, what's comfortable for your hand and a popsicle stick is really cheap especially if you got popsicles in the house right a uh, putty knife you know I just got this little one for details um, mostly if you're if you're you know I use them for You can't quite see that, but like a little X or whatnot for the stars, or for you can dip and make lines with them, cut, you know, just different things that you want to use. Then you got different size ones. This was actually a pack from a hardware store, and these are great for walls. So when you go down them, you know, and then it leaves that perfect line going, and you never know what you're going to need. Um, best to have them before we start Get these out of the way. Other things are poster board pieces. So when you've got a painting that you've messed up on, which I just used, it's actually from when I use my brushes, but messed up on, cut them in the strips, keep them. They're nice for covering up spots. Like if you put just a stencil down or something, if you want to use a little stencil. Um, here, we've got one here we can show you. So we got a little Star Wars one here. All right something I'm making for my son so when you spray the, the uh, paint on your stencil no matter what you do you you got the painting out here showing it's going to over mist it's going to hit it regardless of so you can you can use one of these as well to try to keep it from happening it, it's 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 going to happen it's gonna over mist so these are nice to have to lay out over the extra painting you have showing to keep it from happening that over mist and I like to always weigh them down some because it can still get kind of underneath it. Um, uh, best bet is probably to put them under the stencil when you do it. But whichever way you like to do it, that's always good to have. Um, magazine sheets. Magazine sheets are always, always useful. Okay. All right. The, the reason being magazine sheets, um, even some plastic bags like a Walmart bags or whatnot, or uh, cling wrap also works if you want, but these magazine sheets are from those free books that you can get outside of many uh, grocery stores. And which one is it? So you can get that little crumple for our moons, and then you peel it up and you got that design in the moon. Whatnot. Cheap, easy, get them for free. And if you don't know what I mean by the things for the moon, we got the designs and the. And you can see that it's all dark in here designs for the little moon and that's where we put the paper on it it's crumbled put it on it smear it pull it up you get the little design things going all right now another things are if you want you don't have to do these or i like paint pens 
preferably black and white. They fill in the little spots where sometimes when you're peeling a stencil up, it'll rip the paint up a little bit because you didn't let it dry enough, or in my case, it's so humid and moist in the air. Nothing really dries all the way for a very long time. Um, so paint pens, you know, they got a little bead in it, just like the, just like uh, your spray paint. Those work. They come in different colors. You can find them different size tips. Um, if you're into it, brushes, different size brushes, brushes. You can use that. I'll have a video up on how to clean the brushes and caps. If you want, you don't have to use brushes. I, for mountains and things like that, actually use these like little spatulas, little pieces of just extra cardboard, blank cardboard. You would put your paint down on your paper, grab a little bit, and make your outline of your mountains. And it works real well for little details and water. You'll see me use these in the videos, and and that works out very well as too. Now here we got this little funnel. All right, little funnel that you make. If you spray in here, you know, you just, you, shh, you spray, I'm not going to do it right at the moment, but, and then you'll get this little point, it's got a tiny little hole in it, and that you can use to make lines as well, to help make trees, you can make that point bigger for fatter trees, you can use the brushes for trees, just something that kind of works, and that's just rolling it up into a, a cone, piece of board, uh, poster board or so into a cone and then put a little piece of tape at the bottom to keep it keep it shut that works easy and cheap to make that's just about everything um, that I can think of at the moment to go over with you uh, that's everything that's here that I put it on the table to show you where to get a lot of it I told you uh, you know your big box stores where you get your paint and stuff obviously you can go to or whatnot for things like your tape real you know you can get that cheap whatnot um Cheap is fine. You don't have to get like, you don't have to get the fancy. Maybe this is just 3M Scotch, whatever the cheap roll that they had. Actually, you don't have to get frog tape or anything for paint bleed. This is just this this stuff actually works better and comes off the poster board and your painting is better than those other ones that say come off cleanly. I find actually rip it, and that is a no. Okay, we definitely don't want that. Um, other paints you can use is things like Montana brand or those those big name spray paints that uh, people that graffiti artists actually use and they come in a lot better colors than you're gonna find in any of this stuff but um, they can run a pretty good pretty good price but they're they're worth it as well especially just once you get into it and farther into it you know I'm still playing around and had fun with it practicing so I just stick with the cheap stuff. I think, I think that's just about it. I mean, if there's uh, any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. You know, subscribe to the page. Check out our Facebook. You should find it in the description of most of our videos. And, you know, like our page. We do have a lot of different art on that page you can look at for examples and ideas of things you want to paint. All right, well, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.